you're here, then you're united. And together we, we, we need to we need to stop this. Yeah, I can't think of a fitting place to be on on Labor Day than uh, quite frankly to be here working for the vulnerable. You know, working don't have a voice and don't, certainly didn't have a voice in this decision yeah. and so to um, you know I uh, I worked uh, 28 years I, I worked uh, with individuals that were facing struggling with life-changing disease and disability BC before Congress yeah. and and I I saw and I remember what happened starting in the 70s when the elite decided that uh, People should be pushed out of their homes and into the community. And you know where a lot of those folks wound up? They wound up in the streets. That's right. And from the streets, they wound up in our prisons. And today, you can still find folks in our correctional system who were cared for, who had safe homes that, uh, that provided the resources they needed. And unfortunately, we're, we're dealing with uh, bureaucrats, elitists, Folks are misguided, wrong-headed, yeah. that are pushing this decision. Yeah, yeah. They look at the people that you care for, or they look at your loved ones as family members, not as people, but as numbers, as statistics. It's real easy to do misguided and wrongful things like this when you don't put a face on these individuals. But these people have names. In fact, I'm looking out, lift them up. I'm seeing the initials of the names of the people. These initials represent the people that this impact first and foremost. The folks that call Polk Center their home. A place that is safe. A place where they have friends. They have networks. They have access to job training, if that's appropriate. They have access to the health care that they need. It is absolutely ridiculous at a time when, given our employment situation, which actually is pretty good, but that means that unemployment is so low and it's so difficult to find positions, including positions to staff more group homes, it makes no sense to lay off a compassionate, caring, qualified workforce that's getting the job done today, only to shift people into the community where there may not be the staffing. We heard about that. You know, the, what we've seen where they have to rely on significant overtime. And so I, I just, uh, I want to I want to thank you for being here. We need to, we need to first of all, keep history from repeating itself. We know what happens when you close facilities. We actually need absolutely, as, as uh, Representative James kind of reflected, we need to lean into this and be forward thinking. You know, if we're under capacity, and that's part of the issue for the bean counters, those who look at these individuals as numbers, strictly as statistics, not as not as individuals, not as people, well then let's look and be flexible at, at the under capacity part of a facility like Polk Center. There are certainly tremendous needs out there that are not being met. That Open could up door. that that could be added in a I think in a very uh, very appropriate way, you know, so we can continue to build the mission of the Polk Center of caring for people who have those special needs and be able to meet the needs of people right here in our communities, you know, that have needs that are going on that today. And so I'm, I'm just uh, so proud of each and every one of you. you know, you've taken uh, Labor Day, which is normally a day where people kick back and have picnic, you know, a time to, to rest, but you're here to work today. And I'm here to work with you. Thank you for being here. And thank you for the